We're back in Hall 6 for FI Europe and I am with Bjorn Larsen who is the Chief Operating Officer of the KMC Food Company. Now tell us a little bit more about where KMC come from and what you do. Well, we come from Denmark. We are a Danish food ingredients company uh, and we provide uh, potato starch and potato based ingredients for, for the whole world, so the food manufacturing. Uh, we have been working on this for more than 80 years um, and I think five to ten years ago we decided to specialize, really specialize in a in few uh, selected areas. Cheese was the first then a few years later uh, we chose also mayonnaise dressings and gums and jellies. So you're focusing on finding solutions for people who might find it difficult to source whey proteins and, and various other kind of foodstuffs. You can provide them cheaply and more simply so that they can go into the food chain safely for your suppliers. Exactly. What you see is that, that consumers are looking for cheaper and cheaper products, whereas as manufacturers are looking at uh, higher and higher prices for raw materials and sometimes limit the limited availability of those raw materials. So what we can do is really to help them there with a secure source of, of raw material uh, and, and having a, a low-cost solution to them. So we offer a very competitive uh, solution to them. But the crucial thing is, it has to taste right, doesn't it? And I'm delighted to say that you've yeah, got exactly. some demonstrations going on uh, over these three days, yeah. uh, including this gentleman, Carsten, here, who I understand is going to show us what you're developing here. Well, what we see is, is also a trend towards more healthy food. Uh, and, and that means, for, in terms of cheese, for example, it means vegan cheese and low-fat cheese. Uh, so we have de uh, designed uh, solutions for that, so you can have a 100% dairy-free solution for, for vegan, uh, vegan cheese. Now I've been hearing about this because the term flexitarian is something that is applied to vegans and this is quite complicated to get your head around. You might become a vegan but you don't want to give up on the sort of foods that you ate before you turn vegan, is that right? That is exactly right. So if you want to be healthy and eat healthy it doesn't mean that you can't have a cheeseburger or a pizza or something uh, sometimes when you like. So there we have uh, developed some solutions, uh, for example a vegan cheese that can be used for that. So this is a potential vegan cheese that could be used on a pizza topping quite happily and has the same texture as mozzarella and works in the same way. So Exactly. So it's a 100% uh, dairy free product uh, but with the same properties as you would see from a traditional cheese. Okay, Carsten, show me a little bit more about how this cheese works. Yes, it's uh, developed to have uh, exactly the same texture, uh, shreddability and sliceability as a normal cheese. So you can touch it and you can see that it shreds quite well for pizza topping. Uh, and this is as important for manufacturers as it is for consumers because your domestic user might want it just to put in their own ingredients for what they're cooking but obviously for the manufacturers who are putting it on pieces on mass they have to know it has the same kind of consistencies. Yeah exactly, to give it the same properties for their final products as normal cheese. Okay now do you mind if I have a little taste? Yes of course. Go ahead. Oh, I'm, going to, I'm going to take one of these bigger slices. Slice, yeah. <laughs> mm. No, I must admit, I wasn't expecting it to taste that cheesy. Mm. That's actually that's very close to mozzarella, isn't it? It is. Mm -hmm. And how does it? How does the? What are the properties of it? Do you need to store it at the same temperature as cheese? Does it have a longer life? How does it work in that regard? It's it's like uh, like a cheese. It's so your your mission is to make it as close as possible to cheese, and therefore people can use it as cheese in the normal way. Yeah, exactly. Well, it, it works for me. You're also doing, I'll just, I'll bring in Bjarne here. Uh, you, you're not just doing cheese, you mentioned mayonnaise earlier. You're demonstrating that as well. Yeah, exactly. We, we also provide uh, ingredients for mayonnaise. Uh, what happens is that uh, mayonnaise producers are often faced with uh, the issue of using eggs as an, uh, as an emulsifying agent. Uh, especially with, with fresh eggs, you have issues uh, in terms of uh, shelf life, you have the cost issues. Sometimes it's also very difficult in certain areas of the world to, to get the, the eggs. And, and therefore we've developed a, a totally egg-free solution without compromising on quality or anything. Does it have the same nutritional value as an egg-based mayonnaise? Uh, no, it does not. The, the, the protein part will, will of course go out. Uh, but I, I wonder if how many people would actually eat a mayonnaise to Just have a the protein. Uh, exactly. A very good point. So. Okay, what have we got here, Carsten? Yeah, what we have here is uh, a traditional uh, egg uh, mayonnaise, typically uh, three to five percent of egg yolk, and it has a nice texture, uh, shiny, uh, short. And what we have here is uh, an egg-free mayonnaise. Yep. 
uh, why we have replaced the egg uh, with a, a starts from KMC. Okay, what's the filler in the middle then? Is that a duplicate KMC mayonnaise, or am I just complicating matters? Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> putting is, him on the spot here. <laughs> this is um, this is a mayonnaise where we have replaced uh, the X partial. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So, so if the consumer or the producers want the uh, egg to be inside, you can do half and half. You can do half and half. Okay, but for our purposes, because we're, we're going, we'll do the extreme. So yes, we'll exactly. move this one out. Yeah. This exactly. is your traditional mayonnaise here. Yes. Do you mind if I take a? Yeah, of course. Go ahead. Yes, that tastes like mayonnaise, that's lovely, thank yeah. you. So this is the one with no egg in it at all no that egg. KMC have provided the ingredients yeah. for. Now that's almost impossible to tell the difference. That's good. Yeah, which is what you're aiming for, I guess. Yeah. And again, it has the same properties, has to be kept refrigerated and all the like, but you use it like you'd use any mayonnaise. And, and Bjarne, you were saying that as well as taking um, the animal products out of the food chain, this is also cheaper. Oh, it is indeed, uh, and it, not only cheaper, but also much more stable pricing. Uh, with all the raw materials you see from coming from natural sources, uh, you could say, you will see a, a lot of fluctuation in pricing. But this is a lot cheaper, uh, and you get the same results in the end. Now, you've also come up with a gelatin replacement. Tell me more about that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, just like the other protein types, uh, there are issues with gelatin. Uh, some people simply don't like it, uh, but, but uh, by and large, it's sometimes difficult to, to get. Uh, and prices are, are relatively high. Uh, so we have come up with solutions that are gelatin free. Um, and at the same time, you don't need to think about animal uh, origin. You don't need to think about halal certification and stuff. We have that in place already. And rather brilliantly, Carsten is on hand once more yeah. to demonstrate this product. Carsten, what have we got here? What we have here is uh, gelatin free uh, wine gum. Normally you have 7% 7, 7 of gelatin. This is totally free. And the challenge with uh, gelatin-free uh, wine gum is to, uh, to get the, the texture right and not to get it sticky. Because the moment it becomes too hard, it becomes inedible. The moment it becomes too soft, it falls apart. Yeah. And, you, and you want it, yeah, as you say, you don't want it getting stuck to each other or getting stuck all over hands and fingers when yeah, you're eating it. You don't it. want it, it, it to stick to your teeth. And this is a special uh, range of products we have just developed, Gelamile 800 Syria that is very, very close to gelatin. Is it stable? Yes. And it works again like any gelatin product. Exactly. So this, is, this is what you're trying to deliver to the manufacturers. You're saying, look, these are like for like replacement products, but they're cheaper and also they help people who might have food allergies or, or have making lifestyle decisions about what they want to eat. Yeah, or for a religious uh, purpose. Of course. Yeah. So may I try one? Of course. <laughs> you were much keener to offer me the mayonnaise than these sweets. <laughs> I, imagine, I imagine they're in demand. Yeah, okay, cheers. <laughs> they are a wine gum after all. Mm. 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 Now these are, yeah, these are slightly, um, now my, my rem I remember chewing gum, uh, chewing gum, I remember wine gums being uh, quite harder to chew, whereas these are slightly softer, aren't they? It is, but we can make exactly the texture you like. We can go from pastels, very hard like a gallo and to something very soft, even softer than this. So we have the possibility to adjust the texture. Well, the flavor is still there and, and, and so is the addictiveness. Carsten, thank you very much. Bjorn, let's give you a last word, shall we? Now, um, you're obviously very, very keen to, to demonstrate these products to, right. to people who are coming by and, and seeing you in FI Europe. But of course, this uh, broadcast is going out live all over the world. Right. What are you thinking about where KMC is going in 2016 and these new products that you're bringing on stream? Well, we've chosen these products because we, we see some really good development there. There's uh, a lot of uh, development, uh, economic development going on in Asia. The, the people population is, is growing a lot. So there's a huge demand for proteins and also replacement of, of proteins. So that's really where we are focusing. Uh, we have this product portfolio, which I think is, is probably the broadest and, and greatest you have in the industry today for these products. Uh, but at the same time, where we really stand out is maybe not so much the product, but the application knowledge we have, we can help our customers, not just with our products, but also with uh, adjusting their recipes, optimizing their recipes, and helping with adjusting the uh, production processes. So that's what we're looking forward to. Bjarne, it's a real pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much for Thank talking you. to us on FITV today. If you want to come down and see what Bjarne is doing, and you want to steal a wine gum like I just did, you know where to find us. We're in Hall 6.